told my mother, I can't stay here any longer. I need to go. And my mother said, everybody has to fight for his own destiny. Go, my son, I will be praying for you. Mama, 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 we love you, mama. You are the best of the old mama. Mama, 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 we love you, Africa, mama. You are the best of the old mama. I say we love you, Africa, mama. We love you, beautiful mama. You are the best of the old mama. When I wake up, I thank God for the position that you have put me in, to be able to be in your own country. But, but uh, I didn't intend to come here. I was being sold like a slave. I remember, Mama, when we were so free, Mama. You tell me, say, my picking, oh, don't you worry. Yeah. You say, God, oh, God, God, do all for us. Oh. And I believe in God, oh, now I am in happiness. I want to be free like a bird in the sky because a bird is always free, flying from one place to another. I want to go from one place to another for living my life, a good and happy life. We love you, Africa, mama. We love you, beautiful mama. You are the Music is a great bridge to connect people together. Nature gave us two ears and one mouth to listen double of what we say. Music is all about what others are playing and educate people to listening. Everybody has its own destiny and its own life to live. I'm coming here to make a future for my life. Carry hey, on. Ready. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm ready. My name is Godfrey. I was born and brought up in Nigeria, my lovely country, Nigeria. Gee. I love where people are playing music. I always go there to peep at them, like, look. I found this enthusiasm in me. I, 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 I don't know how it came out, but it's like calling me, not me calling. When I start to play, I sweat very fast. This is, uh, <laughs> this is normal for me. When I play just a little one, I sweat a lot. My name is Stima Felix. My father once told me that the name Stima is uh, a warrior, a great man. I play music always. I am playing it to make a good sound, to make sure it, it goes with what the singer is singing, and I perhaps it will also make people dance. When I'm on it, I also feel myself. I feel comfortable. So this is a good thing. Introduction, do you want it to be just bass or should me and Felix, Felix come in together? I think to get together but with like a minimal a minimal slow, slow drum group. Yeah. Okay. So we could do some like variation of the main groove. I will play something like Yeah. I'm Alex Polidora and I'm working on recording and producing an album with musicians from Nigeria, Gambia, Senegal, and other countries in Africa and around the world. So this album recording project is bringing 20 people together from migrant camps in Siracusa and coming from other close by towns with Sicilian musicians that I've met in jam sessions over the past two years working and playing music here. Alvens! 
Andiamo però, andiamo, non c'è tempo. When I came here, I was shocked because I thought Europe is land of justice, of social justice, of freedom. But when I came to Sicily, when I found out that migrants are like donkeys, there is no cultural life, there is no clubs, there is no intercultural situation. That has kind of smashed me down. And I thought I have to change the situation. Lui è Alves. No. My name is Ramsey Harabi. I am originally from Tunisia. I moved to Sicily 18 years, six months and nine days ago. In Tunisia I used to sing like in weddings and stuff. Hey, let's go. I want to see your face. Great. Come on, let's go. It's time. We are late. Come on, come on, guys. We are happy, yeah. When I first got here, I think all of them were speaking English because I used to speak English too. So I was like, hello. When they was telling me, ciao, ciao, I was like, hello, how are you? So none of them understand me and I don't understand them. So that is the funny part of it. And I have to go to school, start learning their language. So I want them to understand and to hear what I'm saying. Uh, my name is Success, so Samoye. Uh, uh, why did I think my parents need me success? Because they told me that a kid is a key to every door, to door to success, door to prosper. So I'm the key to everywhere. Yeah, that's why they name me success, because I'm going to make it in life. This is my third summer working with Ramsey, assisting him and his organization, the Intercultural Studies Center, with arts and educational activities and workshops in migrant camps around Syracuse. So after building a network of enough migrant musicians who are so passionate about, about the music and want to take it into the studio and want to get their message to a wider audience, there was a, a strong enough foundation laid to be able to embark on this, this recording project. We wrote music about different phases of the migrants' journeys, crossing Africa and crossing the sea, about their new experiences in Italy, and infused the music with messages they want to bring to the world. Messages of the fundamental connectivity we have as humans, and how we share so much in terms of emotional experience and just basic needs. <laughs> Sì, qual, 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 qualche riff che, che si ripite. Yeah, you are right. Then after this whole thing we just did now, we will roll. That's where we enter. You understand? At the end of summer, we play as many live concerts as, as possible to just begin the process of people really deeply listening to each other. It's important for people to hear just a message of connection, especially here these days with the divisiveness of politics. It's very important to give these people the chance to make a new life. I don't have an official position on migration, but I think if I should have been asked about my position regarding migrants, some of, some of the people who voted me maybe would have changed uh, their mind. They will not stay in Italy because they come from a country where there are wars. But if they arrive, those who don't have need to combine the casinos, they are just enough for us. What are your casinos? Our casinos are the disoccupied, those who don't want to do anything and the non-tenants. He's my friend, but he's racist. He loves me only out of migrants. I told him it's not good. <laughs> he's explaining why he's racist. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Ma tu hai una dove magari ce n'è una cena, una minuccia, una sbata la bicicletta. Non si fa. Sotto sotto i poveri come non si sono sbata la bicicletta. No, va bene. Non è sbagliato. Però questo, tu non devi essere razzista per questo. Se tu sei razzista non mi puoi salutare a me. No, tu sì, perché tu non sei con loro. No, io sono. Non sei con loro, il due sei con loro. Se noi lavoriamo in questa strada, saremo vedendo un po' di cose di noi che non mi piacciono. La palla che è, attacchi l'Andrea. Ho giocato in football in questo team Egg, in un match di match o in una championship. Some people boo me, the shouts, call, insult me, but I, I don't see, I do not give them ears. You cannot use someone's sense to judge me. I may be different. You don't know. So everybody is not the same. Everybody has his own character. Yeah. And everybody has his own life to live. Some don't listen to me because they think I'm just a little kid, like five years old boy that I don't know what I'm saying. They did not experience what I experienced. I used to go to school in Nigeria. We have some group of boys. They come to school with different type of weapons, beat people up. I saw a boy with a machet, wanted to use it to cut the other guy. So I screamed, so people can come to come and help the boy and help me too. He started chasing me with that machete and I started screaming. When I went home, I did not tell my parents. So the next day I went to school, they, they saw me and they beat me up. And when I got home, my father was telling me, so says, why do you not tell me this? What is happening in your school? Mm. I said, no, I don't want anything to happen to me or to happen to my family. My father said it's too risky for me to go back to that school. You have to take this decision for me to follow to the desert and the Libya. Uh, the first day I left Nigeria, I was crying because because I don't want, I don't wish to leave that country. I wanted to be there for the rest of my life. In Italy, it's not uh, easy to find uh, a job. So if you find one, you've been lucky. And we work together here in Bar Cristina. And here we have Elena, we have uh, Alessandro Botaro, and my humble self, uh, Stima Felix. And here we have uh, Sabo Dignone. Watch your left Dignone, your car, with the big stomach. The stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't intend to go to Europe, but uh, I found myself here. My dad, uh, I lost my dad some, some years ago, and uh, I was living with the lady. She said that my dad uh, was uh, holding her a lot of money before he passed away, so I started to work for her, sell many things for her. I wasn't a chance to go to school. She wasn't good to me, maltreated me. All of a sudden, she told me that uh, I have an uncle in Libya, my dad's brother in Libya, that is coming to take me so I should go with him to learn to work in Libya. <sighs> That's how the man came, but uh, I saw the man. The man wasn't, I know it really wasn't a relative of my dad because he doesn't look alike. I ever asked, tried to ask him things about my dad. He doesn't know nothing. <clears throat> So it wasn't my uncle. So I feel that the, the lady did this just uh, to benefit from it. I was being sold like a slave. This is our dream to come up. But no one make we come up. We they beg our government to help us. So. I want to be a big artist that perform in this kind of place, even a place bigger than this. This is my dream. If I'm in Nigeria, I also dream like this, but I'm not, I, I wouldn't have a, a, a hope on this, you know. We're 
just suffering, no school, stopping schools. I was like doing job to sustain myself and also my mother. It's like walking to it. That's just how you, you don't work to save because you don't have any savings. Because the money they are even paying you if you are working is not enough for you to take care of your ass rent, uh, pay some other bills, and buy food. It's not enough. So how can you have a service? So I was just like, I'm not going to live this poor life. That I'm going to fight out and make my own destiny. So big. I told my mother, Mom, I can't stay here any longer. I need to go. My mother said, go, my son. I will be praying for you. We left at night. We go to Kenu, like going to Niger. Then from Niger, we go to Agades. From Agades, they made a plan for the desert movement. People died. This is what I want people to know. People died. When somebody fell down from the back, they cannot stop. You see, they just keep on going. That person is gone. If you don't see any rescue, it's gone. There was one pregnant woman who died, and there were one boy who fell down. One week, I spent one week in the desert. The driver stopped us at one place where there's no water or food. So there was so much of dead body there. When we were sleeping in the desert, hearing different noise like spirits, you know. I said, oh God, please help me in this journey. Keep on going, keep on going. Get to a spot, there was a well. Many of us were dragging for the water drinking. We saw a well. Somebody died inside the well. We drink from it. It's like smelly water. I would, you would drink from it. You see, bro, it's crazy. But we have no choice because of the situation. The desert is just the part one. A lot of refugees, they get depressed here because they think they come to like free, liberal country. They found themselves parked in a small, overcrowded camp somewhere else out of the city. And they kind of feel in a jail, and which means their freedom has been taken away from them. Kids end up in a state of waiting where they're just waiting for documents or waiting for some kind of legal decision to be made on their behalf to stay or maybe they will be transferred to another camp. I stay in the camp for two years plus. Eating pasta, eating pasta every day. Most of my Nigerian people, they know what, what is pasta, you know? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Mm -hmm. So much corruption that can't be peace in Libya. Yeah. Tell them what. Everybody have a gun. Yeah, paid for by the European Union. Criminals are police. Criminals are police. Bro, that's a good rap. Why you? When we play music, when we listen to music, when we go to hear music. It's a time of coming together. Nobody comes to disagree. People only come together to listen and, and make something constructive and positive together. I do it from Gambia. No, no, it's Lucky Boy. Yeah, man, people, it's me, Lucky Boy, out of Gambia, you know, this morning because of West Africa, you know. Yeah, man, you know, I love Gambia. Gambia loves me too, you know. Yeah, man, you know. 
So me, I want to learn music. I want to learn more. Yeah, I become educated. I want to become great singer like Bob Marley. Its expression is something. Sometimes music is not enchanting, but it's a deep music still. Uh, the words are written by who really lived the, uh, the experience. So the, for the for the beginning, it's just like the, I'm a lucky boy. I've been in Libya, and when I and when I tell you in Libya, look for me when we do it. And just follow, follow me. We got this. We're in this together. It's so hot. It's so hot in Libya. I want to plan my future, yeah. Because right now, you know, I have many plans. We make, you know, nice album, nice, nice video, you know. Forward, no backward. Can you help? Uh, can you give me one hand? Can you hold your bronze, maybe? What are you about? Yeah, big day in the studio Monday. So tomorrow, rest, rehearsal, we practice all of the reggae songs. Thursday, the big day, preparation for the concert, you know. I fell in love into what's so sexy. Mama me and the gay is driving me crazy. Every night and day I think about her. Baby girl, never leave my side because I will be your mine and you will be my queen. Baby girl, I will be there for you whenever you need me. And anything you need, just call me on my cell phone, yeah. Quando check in on the lontana, this is my destiny, I'm marching higher. Your destiny, for, is what? For the, eh? Your destiny is what? My destiny is to become a great rapper. <laughs> the great best rapper. rapper in the world. Very good. I like your destiny. Yeah. Success is a guy who, when I met, I had trouble with all my colleagues because everybody's saying he's a troublemaker, troublemaker. I was like, no, he's a great dancer, he has the rhythm, and he's a great rapper, but he needs to find the right world. I think first we should practice the, the one humanity, the two one humanity raps. One humanity, that's the first. And this thing is a positive thing. I want to break the record of all this blood suffering in this Italy and in my country too. But if I explain to them that bad what I'm saying, they do not believe me. But if you make it as music, maybe they would believe me. I think so. What I, I experienced to that traveling is part of education to learn so many stuff too. So I'm seeing a kid, I'm seeing learning. A success will be singing and rapping on three songs. One of them is called One Humanity. A success will rap half of the verse in English, and his best friend Marco will rap half of the verse in Italian. I've conosciuto success con degli amici. E quindi poi eh, l'ho visto a mare e ora siamo migliori amici. Marco is my friend. Is I don't know how to say it. Man, it's like a brother to me. 
Eh, sono delle belle esperienze dove impari la lingua, dove si suona, si canta ed è una cosa diversa dalla vita normale perché cioè, impari nuove cose. Back home in Nigeria, this is the thing we do, coming together in one house and play instrument in the name of the Lord. Godfrey, we met each other at the church here in Europe. We make a good sound to make sure that everyone keep dancing. The singer was like singing perfectly. The thing was like going crazy. We were like shaking everywhere, like making people dancing. When I'm here with, with, with my brethren, I, I feel at home, I feel back home. My name is Faith Adiazi. Well, music is part of me. See, I've been doing this music from Nigeria. So now, I'm still doing it here. From Nigeria, to Niger, Sabah, Tripoli, and now down to Italy. Then in Nigeria, see, I was taught how to sing, but not that much down here. Thank God, me getting to Europe, I accomplished my mission. Whenever I'm in the studio, I'm feeling inside. I'm so happy that, yeah, to express myself. That your last time, if you don't leave it, then you, 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 you look me small, so I think I'm Bang, 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 four, come on, start. You two supposed to go together. Okay, guys, rolling. On this journey, I passed through a lot and I began to know some things about life at my young age. My so called uncle brought me into Libya and then uh, he put me in the garage that was where I slept. For some days, he didn't come to bring food, so I decided to went out of the garage and go and get something. A group of boys came, they beat me off, and the next thing I saw myself inside the prison. They maltreated everyone, beat you up. Sometimes they just come and shoot someone, die just like that. Libya is a very, it's a very bad country, very horrific country. A lot of kids across the sea, they are in states of post-trauma and they need really treatment. Thanks to the music, they can shout out, they can scream out. Lucky boy, out of Gambia, smiling because of West Africa. Yeah, man. The black people are so suffering, you know, in Libya, and some people are so dying, you know, in Libya. It's not easy, man, you know. Some people, they see you in you are walking street, they kidnap you. They kidnap you, you pay money, or you die there. In Libya, there is no, no government at all. Nobody who's saying will go there. But these kids do it because they don't know. They tell them, go to Libya, there is big jobs. There is jobs for Africa. And they go to Libya and they're kidnapped. They put you in jail. You get beaten every day. You eat once a day. They call your family, ask them to send money. It's really crazy. From prison to prison, it's never stopped. Many times on the boat, people get inside. It's not easy be black on the street. They keep up your cans hands on feet. Before we arrived in Benwale, the people over there does not want to set their eyes on black. Once they see black on the street, 
They are like shooting from their upstairs. Shooting. It's like war front. One year in this purgatory. Beat every day. Made in their slave. My brothers and sisters. First to be great. Like great prophet. I made One of my friends, you know, we are, in we are living together with prison. One of my friends died because of hunger. And they beat him, you know, very serious, you know. He died. Yeah, but alhamdulillah, you know, I don't die, you know, because of, you know, my time is not finished. It's very, very important to think about what is going on in Libya. Because some people, they, they don't know. In Libya. Why we are here? Why? To say to the sea that we make it. But we don't have to forget those who could not make it. Then we remember them with joy, with happiness, with some music. We have to pray for them. We have to pray for them. This is where I came from, man, from this deadly water. All the way from Libya to Italy. Through the boats, it was not be easy. The boat was lit here. It's like a balloon. A balloon. Where by a needle, if a needle touch it or anything sharp or dead touch it, just leak down. That's so risk. The highest risk. I was not in the center of the boat, I was in the side of the boat. For me, seeing the water, I was so afraid because the, before I don't used to swim at Nigeria, I don't even know how to swim at Nigeria. Let's put our life jacket, life jacket, right away! They put us in the, the boat, they count people. Maybe if you are lucky, maybe 180, 160, depends of how the load. Some people are good, some people want people to die, just put more, more people. The boat journey, we are 250 inside the boat. Like people are crying, like this place is so tight. Oh, I can't even move my leg. You see people fighting in the boat, just go to one side, don't come and push me. Sometimes it, it causes an accident for the capsizing of the boat. spent two days in the water. We saw a rescue ship. The ship don't want to rescue us. We started shouting, please, and raising the baby that we have. So the ship have to turn back and come from us. When I got to Italy, I had a call from my mom that my father was late. So that is the most painful part of it. My father tried everything for me to go to this place. And now he don't want he did not wait for me to see how I've become or oh. so I people dying on the sea, water flushing them out like a fish that just died in the river. This is the human being we're talking about. This is a life. We have to stop this. We're gonna dedicate a few minutes for our brothers and sisters who could not make it, and to be with us today to enjoy this moment of coexistence, of love and of peace. And that's why we have to think of them in our prayers. I don't know if God exists or not, but I know that brotherhood exists. We are all brothers. Okay? Doesn't change anything in my feeling regarding people. They could be Muslim, they could be Jewish, they could be Christian, they could be atheist. They are our brothers and sisters, and they deserve to live. Fatiha, 
الفاتحة All together بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين There are 150 migrants from Eritrea and other countries that are being detained on this Coast Guard boat. They've been here for four days now, and they are not allowed to disembark. The current government is saying all Italian ports are closed to migrant boats. And for this reason, there are hundreds of people protesting for the third or fourth day in a row to let these people disembark. Facciamoli scendere in Italiano. Let's get them off this boat. Let's welcome them into Italy. Però quella nave, fino a che il ministro dell'interno sono io, in un porto italiano non entra. It's an everyday work they're doing to make people feel in danger. And all this kind of, can I say bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> racist bullshit going on pushing these fears that are making us weaker and dividing us. È importante ricordare che la Sicilia eh, è sempre stata una terra di accoglienza ma anche una terra di partenza e che gli stessi siciliani, i siracusani, hanno, do hanno eh, dovuto portare le loro radici e i loro sogni in altri luoghi in cui hanno cercato quella stessa integrazione che oggi noi dobbiamo dare a chi arriva qui. If you want to communicate, if you want to make people's soul shake, you have to touch their hearts. You have to know how to touch their heart. That's why for me, who's not Italian, who's migrant, I don't like to be in ghetto waiting for people to come and discover me. I have to come here to the middle of the city, to the center of the city, to the heart of the city, and speak because I have a voice and I don't need people to speak for me. Where we're gonna go, we're gonna go to a platform where only Italian go, where you never see any African person sunbathing. We're gonna invade them, culturally speaking. We're gonna bring joy and happiness and show them that we can coexist. We'll do a circle somewhere and we'll start rocking. Come on. Success, come here. <laughs> So what we're gonna do, we're gonna play here in the middle and you start dancing. Because what, what, we are gonna, what is our, what is our, our uh, idea? It's to bring joy to people and peace. So that's why we shouldn't be ashamed of who we are. We have to be like in the middle of the, start, of the thing. Okay. okay. But uh, what am I thinking? Like all these people, are they not going to talk? What are we doing here? We tell them what we are doing. We tell them we are bringing love. Okay. Okay, we bring love. Come on, guys. Start to bring love to the platform. Come on. Uh, one here, one there. Come on, Alex, come on, come on. Uh, your brother Texas. How can I train? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to Something in Sol, guys. Okay. Sol, Sol menores, Sol right? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, let's go.
not easy to motivate these kids to, to follow their dreams and to stand up for their own rights and to think with their own mind and do something. But when they see that they can become a member of this community thanks to the music, they embrace it and they try to work on it and make it. A lot of kids, they find first uh, their peace with the music. Then after, why not their job with the music? We need them to think you can make money, you can become integrated thanks to the music. So follow up, work in it, become professional in it. When doing this music in the studio, it's coming out. It's a very hit music, bro. Like, bomb. We just need to publish it, like the whole world, to, to, to feel me, you know? We want to do voices now? Yeah, we do a voice first, and then we do background voice, yeah, and then yeah, we yeah. do rap. Nice, nice. Rap. <coughs> that would be great, bro. And then we do freestyle, freestyle, <laughs> and then rap. One humanity. Hey, let's love each other. So, Godfrey, you're up, bro. He's ready. Oh, let me kill it, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, you got it, man. Keep it, keep it. You know, when I first got to Italy, I was not singing with anybody, like, I feel obvious. I love music, but to sing it, like, I'm still learning. Let's go, bro. It's the big moment, man. It's the big moment. Okay. I'll go like, one, two, three, four. Black, white, one. Black, white. Color doesn't matter. We all bleed wet and understand laughter. We must come together like one family. Holy that way we will live happily. I'm from Nigeria. That's a fact. My destiny is a positive impact. One humanity is a message. We must come together so that we can be free. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bro, that's good. That's good. That's good. I think you maybe got the first. The first one is good. We go, we go, let's go listen to it. Cash money, me say, look after you, man, always, man. All right, yeah, let's hear it for success, yeah, man. That's man. the first time. Yeah. White, color doesn't matter. We all bleed red and understand that. We must come together like one family. Oh, bianco, nero, no me interesse. Why you happy I'm way so busy? Let me see, I'm just telling you, man. Just go the same way, the way you do so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Bianco, nero, non mi interessa, tutti noi capiamo il sorriso, dobbiamo stare insieme, creare un mondo condiviso. Io sono Siracusano, un posto in cui si integrano le persone, devono capire che una nuova casa dobbiamo offrire. Che prima di di giudicare le persone per quello che non sono, bisogna conoscerle, un po' sperimentare un po' come sono, perché non sono tutti come pensano le persone, quindi c'è da scoprire un po' com'è. Yeah. 
Africa, mama. You are the best of the old mama. We love you, Africa, mama. We love you, beautiful mama. You are the best of the old mama. We love you, Africa, mama. We love you, beautiful mama. You are the best of the old mama. Remember, mama, when we were so free. Before, I was not like letting people know what is inside me. When I'm singing, I feel something in me like melody coming out. I go to different shows and people were like feeling me, even if they don't understand, but the way the music were going, like calling people, like coming together to be one. It refreshes my mind, my mentality. Whenever I sing, I see myself going higher. And I believe I will do more than this when the time comes. When I started singing, everything that happened in my country, every type of experience that I have, all of them come, come through my body. When we perform our song, everyone was there, people were dancing to it. It brings a good sound, good harmony. It makes people to see me and know me, to say, ah, this guy, this guy. So it's a way to show yourself to people. The most efficient education is self-education. The only thing you never forget is the stuff that you teach yourself. So when any Italian come and thanks to the music witness that the world is really one thing, you never forget that. You leave that square where the concert was and you just believe it and that's all. I've seen in so many places. I went to the supermarket and I saw a lady with a kid. So the lady was saying, this is the boy that was dancing at the beach and he showed me the video. So I was so surprised. When I started, like 10 people know me, former camp. Now I'm all of Sicily and I know me. I feel I have a future in Europe, but I, I can't do it alone. A lot of musicians here in Italy are calling me for a collaboration. I like to play together. In my heart, I know I have a people like a family. People should have the right to dream. People have the right to improve their life. We should not see migration as invasion of our homes. Actually, it should be a great thing if people pass by your homeland and say, wow, I like it, I want to live here. It's, it should be something you should be honored and proud of. I started from nothing to something, now I'm making something. Same my story, like a story about my life and about the people I love. I think I'm going to make it through this music, yeah. I think it's incredibly important for people of diverse cultures to listen really deeply to each other and be in dialogue and create something greater together that 
one could never create on their own. I'm just starting. I'm starting in Italy, then I'm going up, like showing the world, because I feel Italy is too small for me to, to show the world, you know? It's too small. I just want to go higher. I just want to say I urge everyone who would listen to this, if it happens you'll be in a position to help someone, to render help to him, you should never hesitate. And uh, nobody should look down on, on anyone because change is, change is one thing that is constant in life because uh, nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. We are all one family, you know, one brothers, you know. Yeah, everything, you know, one nation. Yeah, we must love each other. One family, holy that way, where we live happily. I'm from Nigeria, that's a fact. My destiny is a positive impact. One humanity is the message. We must come together so that we can be free. Bianco, nero, no mi interessa. Tutti noi capiamo il sorriso. Dobbiamo stare insieme, creare un mondo condiviso. Io sono Siracusano. Devono capire che è una nuova casa dove amore. 